Capone Tone here, and welcome to part 33 of my Final Fantasy VII walkthrough slash playthrough. We are now at Bone Village. This will be the last part of Disc 1. We have made it through Disc 1, the longest disc in the game. So, yeah, give yourselves a pat on the back like I am for making it this far. And, but now we are at the Bone Village shop. We're going to restock on some hypers and some armor. So yeah, let's get to equipping. Diamond Bengal. Some new armor. Doesn't add any material slots, but it's um it's a better defense, so it's always good. Alright. Now we have to find the lunar harp. You need the lunar harp to get in order to get through the sleeping force so we can get to the Forgotten City. Which is where Aerith is, so we have to dig it up. And I will tell you where to dig like around right here. Say you're done, then it make the bomb. Blah 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 blah. And say we're gonna dig here. Don't need to search or anything, just dig right there. We should find it. Now look in the chest. Lunar Harp. Alright, first try, not bad. Alright, now we're gonna go into the sleeping forest. Need to use the Lunar Harp. If you don't have the Lunar Harp in here, you cannot progress any further. You'll be going in a circle forever. Forest awakes because of the lunar heart. But before we leave this forest, we want to get the Kajata materia. It's another summon. But it only appears for a couple seconds on the screen. You have to go get it immediately. You'll see a little red thing floating around. But if you don't grab it in time, it'll disappear. And you just have to leave and come back. I saw it, but it got away from me right there. So we're going to try this again. Nice, alright. Now we have Kajata, new materia. Give that Tifa. Now we're gonna give everyone hypered. And get them hype. Okay. Ah. Now with pretty much all these groups of enemies, we're gonna be using our enemy skills. Beta or Trine will do the trick against the big group. Plus, it will give your characters a good amount of kills. These guys take forever to attack, which is kind of annoying. Let's see what Trine does. Well, I missed two of them, but killed three. So not bad. Let's see if Cloud hits them all. Yep. All level up. Clouds level 32. Dazers. Okay, now go get this treasure chest. If you have the water ring, you cannot die against the next boss. It's impossible. So yeah, get that. And equip it if you want to. The next boss isn't like too hard in the way, but having the water ring equipped on somebody will make it impossible to die. Because the next person uses nothing but water attacks. You'll see that boss coming up soon. The dance takes so long, it's so annoying. Trying to kill him. Yep. They give a pretty good amount of experience. So if you're not really high leveled, you can uh, actually train here, grind for a few levels. 
but we don't need any of that. Alright, now we'll enter this area. Forgotten City. First, we're going to take a right on this fort path. Let's head into this room first. The music in this area is badass. Love it. Guard source in here. Now leave. Now head up north into the next house. Is house the correct term? I don't know what the hell it is. Elixir. And when asked to take a break, say yes. It's actually required. Alright, now Cloud feels something. Slept for a while. He knows Aerith and Sephiroth is here, so it's not a good combination. Before leaving this area, head to the top to get the enemy skill materia. It's our third one. It's very nice. Now everyone in our party will have an enemy skill. So once we start learning more, all three characters will get them. And yep, get hyped again. Now I'll head all the way back to the fork path. Now you can head left if you want to get some items, but well, we're going to come back here a little bit later anyway. Well, not a little, but later in the game. So, and those items we don't really need, so if you want to continue, just head north. And head inside of here. to the top first to get that magic materia. It's another pretty good one, Comet. Not sure who we're going to give it to yet. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I'm a tough decision. Yeah, Titan, I've really never used that crap anyway, so we'll get rid of it. It's kind of dated for a summon now. Alright, once you're ready, head down this blue path. And this moment right here is pretty iconic moment in video game history. We're gonna save the game first and then we go toward here and there's Aerith. Alright, now jump pillar to pillar get to Aerith. And we're there. Now let's go try to talk to her. But uh oh. Looks like Sephiroth has control of Cloud again. What the? And he's controlling him to kill Aerith. No! <laughs> what 
What are you making me do? No, Aerith is dead. Oh, Sephiroth is just talking about how she'll become part of the life stream and she'll be become part of him one day. But Cloud is like, "What the hell? You just killed her." <laughs> not very happy. He's crying and he's really pissed off. So you have feelings for her? <laughs> Seth Roth is telling him to man up. But yeah. Very iconic moment in video game history. And right after this we're just swept into a boss battle against Genova. Nova life. And we'll start with Big Guard. As I said, if you quit the water ring, you'll be you're automatically not gonna die against him because all he does is use a water attacks. But I didn't, but either way, it's still not that difficult. Start off with a limit break with Tifa. I think he has 10,000 HP. Hit him with Bahamut as one of your summons and you'll do a good amount of damage. I think Kajada does a good amount of damage too. But I'm going to primarily be sticking to enemy skills. And the air theme is so awesome. I love it. My favorite part of the game. Uses reflect. Now you can't use any magic on him. And he's gonna continue with his water attacks. We'll try Chokemog. See if we can stun him. Death blow. See what beta does. It's pretty strong. I'll keep using that. I use beta with them too, and Sid, I'll just attack, I guess. Should be nearing death pretty soon. attack with that blue light a lot. Like in between turns, we'll get like two or three shots in the blue light. I'll keep hammering them with beta. Should be done soon. And heal if you need it. Big guard is doing its job to prevent extra damage.
Oh, come on. And he's dead. Nova life is history. HP plus level up. Everyone gained a level. Wizard bracelet. And Genova's only line in the game is a typo because it's spelled wrong. <laughs> because you're a puppet. Cloud says, I'm a puppet? Now, everyone gives their sigh about Aerith's death. Looking at her face one more time. And runs away and cries. Now it's Cloud's duty to pick her up and give her a burial. Well, technically not a burial, but like a water grave. Cloud looks at Aerith one last time before letting her go forever. No! Bye bye. Got the most out of her though. Got her level 4 limit got to see her max potential. She's pretty good. Sucks though. She's dead now. <laughs> and I'll switch this back to the other epic music. Cloud's gonna give a speech. Came to settle the score with Sephiroth. Well, intentions wasn't to settle up with Sephiroth at first, but until he uh, betrayed everybody. He said there's just a part of him inside that he doesn't understand. That part of him that made him give away the Black Materia to Sephiroth, and part that almost made him kill Aerith with the Buster Sword. And he is not sure if he can continue this journey because he might do something really fucked up. But he still says he's never going to forgive Sephiroth. He's really stepped over the line this time. And if he does continue the journey, he wants everybody else to make sure he doesn't do anything that's really going to terrorize the planet. We, stand, we must get that black material from Sephiroth. Let's go! And that, my friends, completes Disc 1 of Final Fantasy 7. It's been a good journey so far. This is the first time I actually show you all my save slot. There we go, I made a bunch of them. But, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed my walkthrough so far. It's been fun doing it. I love Final Fantasy VII. My all-time favorite game, um, I just can't get enough of it. But, alright, I'm gonna catch y'all on disc two.